For the next two examples, we're going to look for a specific point on the graph where the tangent line is horizontal. So first thing that we want to make note is when we're talking about a horizontal line, we're talking about a line that has a slope of zero. So we want to know where along this curve, where along this function, uh, would a point have a horizontal tangent line? So we want to know at what point that occurs. So essentially, if we want to know where the slope is zero, we want to know where the derivative is zero. Remember that the derivative spits out the slope of the tangent line. We want to know what x value is going to make that happen. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative of our given function. So here we have f of x equals x cubed, and I want to find out what is the derivative, or what is the slope formula for all of the tangent lines. So we're going to use the power rule that gives me 3x squared. So there's my derivative. Remember, this gives me the formula for uh, determining the slope of the tangent line at any specific point. Well, what I want to know now is not to put in an x value and find out the slope of, uh, of the x value, the slope of the tangent line at that x value. Well, what I want to know is um, if I know the slope is 0, then at what x value would have that slope. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the derivative equal to 0. So that's our first step. So I have 3x squared. We want to know where does that equal 0. So the second thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve for x. So in order to do that, of course, I can divide both sides by 3. Okay, we get x squared equals 0 divided by 3 is 0. And then I can take the square root of both sides, and of course, the square root of x squared is x, and plus or minus 0, of course, is just 0. So there is a point on the graph at which I have that horizontal tangent line. It occurs when x is 0. Now, what if I want to know the y value of the point? So remember that this is a point on the graph of the original function. So this is the point on the graph of f of x, not f prime of x. Where f prime of x is our derivative, that's our slope formula. On the original graph, if x is 0, then what is y? Well, all I have to do is put this into my function. So put my x value into the function, the original function, and then put it there in place of x and see what the output would be, and the output would be 0. So this is the point on the graph that has a horizontal tangent line. Okay, so this is the point on the original graph of f of x that has a horizontal tangent line. What I want to do is I'm going to pull up on Desmos. So I'm going to go back to Desmos here. We're going to look at the graph of x cubed. So I've already graphed it here. I'm going to make this a little bit bolder. I've already graphed x cubed. That's what's in blue. And then this red line is the tangent line. Um, this value right here is the value of the derivative at that particular point. So this represents the slope. Okay, So g is the slope, g is the derivative. Um, and then I might look at my a value here. So here's the tangent line. So I'm going to kind of move it around. And a represents the point, the x value for that tangent line. So here's my tangent line floating around. What we were looking for is a very specific tangent line. We were looking for where the tangent line was horizontal. So let's go to where it gets flat. It gets horizontal right there. And it looks like the, the tangent line is horizontal when the tangent line goes through the point uh, x equals 0 and y equals 0. So there's where we have that horizontal tangent line. And that's what we were looking for. So we knew set our derivative, set the slope equal to 0, and then solve for the x value that gives us that slope of 0 for that horizontal tangent line. All right, so let's look at the next one here. Um, here we're looking at a different function, f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared. And we want to find um, all the x values, find all the points on the graph that have a horizontal tangent line. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative. So that gives me 3x squared minus 8 x. We're just using that power rule on both of those terms separately. Once I have the derivative, we're going to take the derivative, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set the derivative equal to 0. So let's say that we want our slope to be 0. What x value is going to make that happen? 
So we're going to take our derivative that we just found, set it equal to zero, and we're going to solve for x. Now, our, our um, previous skills of factoring and solving quadratic equations is going to come into play here. Um, I have two terms, and uh, they both have an x in them. So the very first thing I'm going to do is always take out a greatest common factor. So it leaves me with 3x minus 8. And then I'm going to set each one of those individual factors equal to 0. Okay, now we're going to solve for x. One of them, I already have the x value, x equals 0. The other one, I'm going to have to add 8 to both sides and then divide both sides by 3. So I get 8 thirds. So there are actually two points on this graph that actually have a horizontal tangent line. What I would like to know is what are the y values of these points? The first one's pretty easy x equals 0. For x equals 0, I want to know what is the y value on the original function. So remember to find the y value, then I need to put the x value back into the original function in place of x to find the output on the original function. Well, that gives me 0. So that's pretty nice. 0, 0 is the first point that has a horizontal tangent line. The next one, we're given an x value of 8 thirds. Okay, whenever possible, if we can give our answers as exact values without, um, without any rounding or approximations, then that's what we would like to do. Um, I am not going to rewrite that as a decimal because then um, I would actually have to round. It would give me an approximation. I'm going to use the exact value, 8 thirds, into the original function. So f of 8 thirds, we're going to put that back into the original. That would be 8 thirds cubed minus 4 times 8 thirds squared. All right. Now, you, I'm not expecting that you're going to know 8 cubed off the top of your head, um, but that's why we have a calculator. Um, 8 cubed gives me 512, and then 3 cubed gives me 27. So I can cube that fraction, cube the top, cube the bottom. Okay. And that's 4 over 1 times 8 squared, 64. You can use your calculator for that. Um, and then 3 squared is 9. Okay, so that gives me 512 over 27 minus, okay, let's go ahead and multiply across. 4 times 64 um, gives me 256 over 9. The last thing I want to do is give a common denominator, which would be 27. So I'm going to multiply top and the bottom of this fraction by 3. So I get 512 over 27 minus 768 over 27. Now that I have a common denominator, I can keep that common denominator and combine the numerators on top. So I get negative 256 over 27. So I'm going to leave my answer just like that. So I don't have any rounding errors. I'm just going to go ahead and leave my answer in that, exactly that form. Okay. If you want to find approximations, you can. The actual, actual exact values are more important than the approximations. If you want to find approximation, you can. Um, and then you would have to round, and you just want to be careful about the rounding. So we found two places on the graph that have horizontal tangent lines. Let's do the same thing we did for the last problem, and let's go ahead and put this into Desmos and just see what we found. So I'm going to put in x cubed minus 4x squared into Desmos. All right, so here is our original function. So we have a horizontal tangent line right here at 0, 0. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to move along my curve. And as I move along the curve, we see that the, the tangent line flattens out again. It looks like it flattens out right there. Let's zoom in a little bit more at that point. So we're looking for a slope of 0, horizontal tangent line. It's a little bit difficult to get that exactly flat, but we have the idea there. So we're looking for basically exactly at that point right there, um, 8 thirds. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, type that in just so we can visualize that exact value. 8 divided by 3, and there it is right there. So there's kind of the approximations for that, but 8 thirds comma negative 256 divided by 27. But this is the second place on the graph where we have that horizontal tangent line. So there may be more than one place on the graph where we have those horizontal tangent lines and the places where we have horizontal tangent lines will be more important to us later on.
for some applications, but I wanted us to kind of get a visual of the two values of those two points that we found and what those horizontal tangent look like, tangent lines look like on the graph.